Hi, this is Dan Elder with Kidasa Software Support. Welcome to this tutorial video about Milestones Professional creating phase bars. The first step to creating phase bars is to set up your toolbox correctly. Right now I have this orange bar right here and I can use that as one of the phase bars. We can also modify this bar and then copy it to other rows and then have a bunch of different colored phase bars. First, let's add one of these orange bars and then modify it to how we want the other bars to look. So I'm going to choose the small plus tool right next to the orange bar, come over to this first row, and then click and drag. So when I click, it's going to add that start symbol, and then when I drag, it's going to add that finish symbol. So that looks pretty good. Now with the face bar, we probably want the text to be on top of the bar or in the actual bar itself. So I'm going to use the arrow tool in the toolbox. Uh, click on that invisible start symbol and just type something like phase one up here in the selection tab. And you'll see the selection tab has lots of uh, little tabs down here for symbols and we're going to be using that text tab. So once I've typed phase one, I can click apply text changes. And then you can see that default location for the text is right above the symbol. And let me kind of zoom in on this uh, bar right here, holding control on my keyboard and using the mouse wheel. So now you can see that text is right above um, that start symbol. We really want it to be centered on the bar. So we can either do this individually with just you know this specific symbol, uh, but we kind of want to set up our toolbox um, so that all of the bars will have that text centered on the bar. So let's go over to the start symbol over here in the toolbox and double click on that. <clears throat> and then we can go to text date properties over here. And uh, we can also hide the date at this point if we want to. So I can just choose hide uh, for that date placement if we don't want to show that date. And right now the text is right above that invisible symbol but we have the option here to put it on the bar. So now it's above whatever bar comes out of that symbol. And maybe I can say middle for the uh, vertical placement. So now that symbol should have text uh, centered on the bar and uh, right over the bar. So I'm gonna press OK. And now you can see that phase one is centered uh, on that actual bar. So if I use the arrow tool and kind of move this finish symbol, that phase one is going to be centered on that bar. And we can also change the finish symbol. Uh, right now it's also got the date. So I can just go to that finish symbol, double click on that. And again, go to text date properties. And I'll just go ahead and hide that date as well. And if we do have any um, text coming off of that symbol, uh, we might want to change it to be middle and centered on the bar as well. Um, so you have a couple options when doing phase bars. You can either do separate bars, um, so each bar has a start and a finish symbol, or you can kind of connect the bars so that each, um, <clears throat> each bar is actually connected to the finish symbol of the previous bar. So I would have the start symbol and then this finish symbol and then another bar coming off of that finish symbol and then connecting to another finish symbol. Uh, it makes the schedule a little simpler. Uh, you just have less symbols and stuff like that. So in that case we do want that text to be centered on the bar coming out of that symbol. So I'll go ahead and show you both options. So first I'm going to add another face bar right here. So I'm going to use the same bar, the orange bar, and I'll just click and drag uh, close to that symbol and maybe add some text to this. Uh, click on that start symbol, call that phase two, apply text changes. So now I've got phase two on there and obviously with like a phase type thing you would want it to be pretty much the same date as that uh, finish symbol anyway. Uh, another option is to use the large plus tool and then select the bar and that finish symbol and then you can click and drag from an already existing symbol. So I can click on this finish symbol. It should kind of highlight 
and then you drag that uh, mouse cursor and it adds another phase right there and so there's actually just one symbol right here um, it's just that uh, that finish symbol which is also the start symbol for that next phase so then I can type uh, phase 3 for instance and apply those text changes and so now that we've got this bar set up in the toolbox we can actually copy it to different spots in the toolbox um, so I'll just do one example here I will um, select this whole row in the toolbox using that small plus tool I'm gonna right click on the toolbox itself and say copy selected row and then I'm gonna select this other row that I want to replace and just be aware you will replace this uh, symbol bar symbol combination and then I'm going to right click on the toolbox again and say paste copied row over selected so now I've got two orange bars so I can change one of the colors of these bars I'm going to double click on the center of the toolbox and change that color to some other cool color that I like maybe blue and press OK. So now I've got a blue bar and an orange bar and those can be like different phases so I'll just add an orange bar to this um, second row right here click and drag and then I can add just the uh, finish symbol and the bar to the end of this bar so I'm gonna make sure I've got the large plus tool and just these two selected and then click and drag and then you can add your text um, call this phase A and then phase B just as an example okay and that text looks pretty dark so if you do want to change the color of just one bars text uh, you can do that with that start symbol so you select that start symbol the text should be highlighted and then you've got the font over here so you could do a little override right there so now it's white um, you can see this uh, start symbol to the orange bar does not have an override but if you click on this phase B start symbol you can see that color is white and that's pretty much how you create phase bars in Milestones Professional. Be sure to email support at kidasa.com with any questions. Also visit our website at kidasa.com. Hope you have a nice day.